Hey everybody, and welcome back to part two of how to model a gas pump. This is my Kermis at MH Tutorials, and uh, today we're going to continue modeling the actual pump. Okay, so uh, this is what we left off with our gas nozzle. If you didn't uh, catch that, then uh, check out part one. Uh, for now, we're just going to drag select all of this, and we're going to hit Control H to hide that. Okay, and I'm just going to turn off my resolution gate for a sec. Okay, so the gas pump. Now, for the gas pump, uh, we're not going to literally copy an existing pump. It's just going to be uh, on the fly, right? So that's what we're going to start with. So we're going to take a polygon cube. I'm going to drag that out in the grid until we roughly have the ground plate shape for a pump, something like this. And we're going to hit R, and we're going to stretch that out a little bit. Okay. Hit W to pull that up. And let's just look at this to you know see if you're fine with the height and so forth okay just gonna maybe bring it down a little bit so right click vertex maybe yeah that's about right okay alrighty now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of detail to it but obviously we need to create an opening for the gas nozzle okay so for that we're gonna go to mesh tools insert edge loop tool option box multiple we'll do two close this out and we'll do two right there and that should be good I think okay next step Mesh tools once again, injured edge loop tool, option box, single setting. And we'll do one here and maybe one there. That looks about right. Okay. Hit Q on your keyboard, right click face, select that face, and go to edit mesh and extrude under face. And we're going to hit W and we're going to push that in. Okay, and then we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate that in to kind of create that opening. Okay, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to add one more edge loop. So where do you go? Right there. And we'll do one here. Q on your keyboard. Right click face. Select that one. And go to edit mesh. Extrude under face. Hit W, and we're just going to pull that out. Now, we want to give that a little bit more shape than just that square thing sticking out. Okay. So, once again, insert edge loop tool, option box, and we'll do multiple. Let's do five. Close that out. And there we go. Hit Q on your keyboard. And from our top view, we're going to model that shape a little bit. So we're going to right click at our vertex, we're going to take these vertices, hit W, push that out, skip one of both ends, push that out, take one more and push that out, just to give it a somewhat rounded effect. Okay, and then next what we're going to do is right click vertex, which is going to be a bit more tricky, take these two both ends and we're just going to slightly raise that and I'm going to take these three sets in the middle hopefully I'm not selecting anything else just bring that down to about there yeah that's about right okay and we're going to we're going to smooth select this later so we should be okay Actually, what we can do is do that right now just to see what we got. Okay, but before we do that, mesh tools, injured edge loop tool. I'm gonna, oops, I don't want multiple. Injured edge loop tool option box, single. I'm gonna add one down here. And we're gonna Q on our keyboard, right click face. And I just want that bottom face row yep edit mesh extrude give that a little thickness so it will act as the base for our gas station alrighty uh, not 
too bad. Okay. And let's give this a try. Right click object mode and hit three on our keyboard. Okay. Now we need some cleaning up, obviously. So select it again, hit one. Insert edge loop tool. We'll add one there and we'll add one there and there. And I'm going to add one here, one here. That should clean that up. Hopefully, we're going to add one down here. And we're going to add one here and here. One there and one there. And let's see what we got. Right click object mode. Oops. Q on a keyboard first. Object mode. Hit three. Okay. That's uh, not bad. Alrighty. Okay, so what's next? Um, we're going to have a shape on top that we want to deal with, um, but I'm just looking at this guy. It looks a bit clunky on top. So we're going to hit one to go back. We're going to go to insert edge loop tool option box, and we'll do multiple, and let's do eight. Actually, seven is better. Seven which will give us one line exactly in the middle, which is a bit better, okay? Q on our keyboard, right click object mode, and hit three. Yes, much, much cleaner, okay? Now, for the top, we are going to first create a polygon pipe, and we'll add some subdivision, let's do 30, and what we'll do is we'll right click, go to vertex, drag select the top, hit R and scale that in. Then we're gonna move to our top view, hit F to zoom in, right click object mode, hit W and move that over here, F to zoom in, and R to scale down quite a bit. Once again, F to zoom in, we're going to hit W and we're going to start to move that to the center of our pump. Let's just check something here. We'll do, oops, yeah, I can't do that anymore. I should have done that before. Control Z, come on, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Okay, we'll do it this way, it's fine. So that should be okay. We're gonna check the top. So bring that up, F to zoom in, four for wireframe mode. Alrighty. So we got that. Okay, and now we are going to create a um, polygon sphere and we're gonna tweak that a little bit. I'm just thinking what the best method is of doing that. Um, yeah, that'll probably work out. Okay. We're going to hit E. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees, which is kind of important. So there we go. We're going to switch to our top view. And we're going to hit W and we're going to move that. I have to zoom in and let's just snap that, hold down V and move it and snap it. Then we're going to pull that up and it's a bit big, obviously. So we're going to scale it down, pull that down and then we're going to hit R and we're going to push it in a little bit. Not too much. That looks about right. Let's hit three and smooth it out. That's not bad. But what I'm going for here is I want to be able to 
select these face roads here and it looks like we can so right click face edit mesh extrude under face we'll give that just a little thickness to add some detail let's do 0 0.3 which will give us that shape right there okay now we need to add a window obviously for the uh, the meters and so forth okay so just make sure that I'm not in soft select mode and we'll do right click face one two three four and we'll do edit mesh and extrude under face now this could turn into a problem but we'll see I'm just gonna push that back okay object mode and three to smooth out okay it's not a huge problem we can fix that so select it again hit one to go back mesh tools injured edge look tool option box single setting and we're just going to add some edge loops here so one in there one in there one there one there one there and one there one there and one there Q on our keyboard right click object mode hit three much 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 better okay all right now we're going to want to have some sort of glass plate in front of that so we'll just uh, take a simple polygon cube make it nice and thin pull that up go to this shoe right here hit w and bring that up there have to zoom in r to scale down hit w and then we're going to align it in the top left corner and then we're going to right click at a vertex take these two bring that in and take these two and bring that up okay right click object mode all right that should work okay now it's time to bring in our gas nozzle okay so for that we're going to go to window um sorry no we're going to display show and all there we go and we're going to drag select that we're going to hit Control g to group it modify center pivot and modify freeze transformations okay we're going to move that back and we still have some work to do there we're going to hit e and we're going to rotate the whole thing and then we're going to have to hit r and scale it down quite a bit hit w and start to move that in and as you can see it's still too big so we're going to hit r and scale it down some more that's more like it we're going to hit E, we're going to rotate that a bit more and hit W and bring that in. Rotate back just a little. That looks all right. Okay, so now we need to bring it in here just see if we got that view available hit four yeah it's nice okay so that's that sorry about that my dog went nuts okay so now before we move forward let's add some color um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna select this guy right click assign new material and we're going to make this thing yellow so take a blend change that to yellow 
and we're going to increase the reflectivity a little bit. Let's make that one. Okay. And then we're going to add a few color accents. So we're going to right click at a face and we're going to select these face rows. Okay. Right click assign a material, another blend, and we'll make that red. And again, we'll increase reflectivity to one. There we go. And the bottom, the base here, we want that to be black. So I'm just going to go around. Right click, assign a material, blend, and black. Let's see how that looks. Looks okay. All right. Now, what we can do here is move in. That's a bit much. I'll have to do that manually. And it's a bit hard to see, but I'm just selecting this whole contraption going to right there. That's fine. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to right click, assign new material, and let's do a uh, MA material X, material tab presets. I'm inclined to use Chrome, but it's probably better to use setting metal. I hit replace. Okay. So we got that. Now it would be cool to do this thing in Chrome, especially considering the style of the thing. So uh, we'll right click, assign new material, MIA, presets, Chrome, replace. And then this guy, right click, assign new material. We'll do another blend. And we'll start off by making it white. And then we'll take this band here. Including this and this. Assign the material. Uh, blend. Let's uh, start with red. And again, reflectivity one. And then we'll replace the two in the middle. Assign the material, blend. And we'll do yellow. And again, increase reflectivity. There we go. And now I want to try something. So what I'm going to do is go in and select Looks like he wants me to do it manually, so so be it. Okay, so I got that inner circle. I'm going to hit shift period to increase my selection. There we go. And I'm going to right click, assign new material, blend. I'm going to go out to my color map, hit my checkered box, and I do. Yeah, there we go. Select file. I'm going to hit my folder. And on my desktop, I have my um, 
cash pump. There we go. Let's see if we can stick that thing on. Okay. Um, bum -da -bum -da -bum. Okay, so as you can see, we need to check our UV. All right. Now I was hoping, oh, come on. Do I really have to do that again? I'm supposed to do the UV first, of course, but now and then you forget. Okay, so we got that. We're going to go to uh, create UVs. Let's try automatic mapping. Let's see what we get. That's not it. No. Create UVs. We'll do spherical mapping which is slightly better. And then we're going to go to edit UVs, UV texture editor. And let's see what we got. Right click UV. We're going to select that. We're going to go to polygons. Unfold. And right click on this guy. Shell. Come on, UV. Right click shell. Um, why is that not working? Okay. Well, I'm not going to drag this on too long. Uh, I'll figure it out later. But for now, what we'll do. I'll give it one more go. Because I'm probably going to get that question anyway, so. Create UVs. Spherical mapping. Create UVs. Automatic mapping. Nope. That's just checking out if there's anything in there that will give me uh, what I want. Nah, it's pretty bad. Not quite sure why, guys. Um, but again, what I'll do for now, considering this is mainly about the modeling part, I'll just make that white. And as soon as I figure out the problem, I'll let you know. And if you find a problem before I do, let me know. Okay. Sign material, blend, white, reflectivity one. Okay, there we go. So that's that. Um, okay, we got that material set up. Let's see if we need to deal with this little edge here. That's fine. So we've got our glass material, and we're going to just pull that out for a sec. Assign new material, and that will be an MIA material. Material tab, presets, and we'll do glass solid and replace. There we go. And then for this guy, uh, actually just move our glass out of the way bit more okay for this guy right here right click face assign new material we'll do a uh, Lambert now I have a texture file, so hopefully this fits because I didn't anticipate to make this exactly in this shape. So we'll see. I think that's it. Now that's probably not gonna be an exact fit, but we'll see what we can do. And create UVs. Planar mapping, which should work. 
let's see what we can do here. UV texture editor. I think I know why. Right click object mode, hit one. Let's try that again. Face. Create UV. Edit UV, UV texture editor. Right click UV. This is the guy I want, looks like. Okay, we need to rotate it. And that angle, yeah. So. That's good. I'll move this out of the way so we can see it a bit better. And then we're going to stretch it out a bit. That doesn't look too bad. Hit three again. Hopefully that doesn't mess things up. And of course it does. So that was my problem before as well but we'll try to clean it up okay what we'll do is I'll just cheat a little bit for time's sake, okay? So we'll take this, this, sign the material, Lambert, black, We'll take these two as well. All right. Where's our glass at? There it is. Hit W, bring it in. Have to zoom in. We'll do it about here. That's okay. Okay, so what's left is we need to create the hose. Okay, now first we're going to take one little component here, which is this thing. Hit Control D to duplicate. Pull that down. E to rotate that up. We're going to check it from this view. Hit W and bring that in. First, we're going to scale it up a bit. There we go. Check its position. That should be OK. And we'll make this thing Chrome. Sign new material. MIA. There we go. Material tab, presets, Chrome, and replace. And what we need to do next is we need to create the uh, the hose, okay? So for that, we are going to first create a NURBS um, CV Curve tool. So we're going to go to Create, CV Curve Tool. Come on. What's going on? Create. CV Curve Tool, then we're going to switch views, and we're going to start here, and we're just going to try to create something that resembles something 
smooth. Okay. Hit enter. Then we're going to move it into position. Hit W and move it over until we are sure that it's sitting correctly. That looks okay. All right. And then we're going to go up to create NURB primitive and circle. Like that. And then we're going to shift select both. We're going to go to our surfaces menu. We're going to go to surfaces and extrude. There we go. And as you can see, the hose is a bit thick. So we're going to to take our little uh, circle there we're going to hit R and we're going to scale that down which will scale the hose down as well all right now with that done we're going to select this guy we're going to go to edit delete by type history modify freeze transformation now we can take that NURB circle and hit delete and we're going to select this guy and we're going to go to modify convert nerves to polygons hit the option box and i want quads no triangles quads okay and we're going to hit apply I'll move that down so now if i hit w and i move it out i got two of them one is our nerves and here you can see control vertex and so forth and this is our polygon object. So we're going to take our NURBS object. We're going to delete that. Take our polygon object. And move that into position. And we're going to do a final check to see if it's positioned correctly. Maybe just to raise it just very, very slightly. And we're going to apply a material to that. Assign new material. Let's do rubber. So MIA material preset rubber and place. There we go. And finally select it and hit three to smooth it out. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this guy and I'm going to hit one. Am I going to do that? Nope. I'm not going to do that. Okay. We'll just leave that at three. And the texturing bit, I'll figure that out. We're going to do some final trim just to make it look a bit nicer. Okay. So for that, let's see. What we'll do is we will... Um, I want to put some chrome trim in there, but... Okay. What we'll do is we'll take a polygon cube. We'll pull that up like so. Okay, we're going to right click go to face, select that face, go back to our polygon menu, edit mesh, extrude under face, and that's not exactly what I was hoping for. Hit R. There we go. All right. Looks okay. And I'm going to hit G to repeat. W to push down. And then we're going to right click at the face. And we're going to select the faces and just keep the frame. Object mode. We're going to hit E. We're going to rotate that to... 90 degrees and let's hit w let's move that towards our pump pull that up and let's see if we can get that thing into shape okay so we'll align that there right click vertex take these two and we'll align that at that end take these two I think I'm okay, but we'll check it from here. 
Okay, the whole thing is a bit thick, so I click object mode, hit R and make that nice and thin. And as you can see, we still need some tweaking. So let's do it from this view and hit five so I can see it better. Right click vertex, drag select, hit W, bring that into right there. That one looks okay. I'll bring that down. I'll bring that up. And I'll take these two at the top. Right click object mode, come on. Vertex. These two at the top. And these two at the bottom. I'm going to hit R and I'm going to scale that out like so. Okay. And let's apply material, object mode, assign a material, MIA, presets, Chrome, replace. Okay. So that's the best I can do on my gas pump for now. Uh, sorry about the UV uh, issue. Uh, I didn't want to take too much time to figure that out. I know it's related to the soft select, but uh, I'll get back to you on that. So let's create a ground plane. And push that out quite a bit. Assign new material. Fong E. Make that white. We're going to go into our indirect lighting. Create image base lighting. I'm going to set my quality to about 1.5. I'm going to set my image size to HD 1080. Uh, okay, let's select an HDRI file. Uh, where you go? Maya HDRI. I got something called Reno Suburbs, which is nice. We're going to create lights, point light. Hit W, pull that out. Hit 7 so we can see what our light is doing. Okay, I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate that. Push that out over here. Up, and I'm going to reduce the light in that one a little bit. Let's do 0 0.5 on that one. Let's set up our resolution gate. Well, that should be about it. All right. I'm going to pause the video, do the render, and see you guys in a sec. Well, guys, there you have it. There's our gas pump. Okay, so feel free to uh, tweak it, make it your own, and properly uh, UV it. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. That said, uh, thank you very much for watching, and love to see you guys again.